Patriot to look on our Rex Pines TV. I'm Bonnie Gosan. Please stand for Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. You may not be seated. Today is Tuesday, March 16, 2021. Let's go to Aiden to see what's happening today in history. Thank you, Vani. Today in history on March 16, 1621, the first Indian was revealed to the colonists in Plymouth, Massachusetts. Samoset, a member of the Abenaki Samagor people, simply strolled into the pilgrim village and greeted the pilgrims in English. He had learned English from fishermen that had been visiting the New England and Canadian coast for close to 100 years before the Pilgrims established the first English colony and what became New England. Now let's go to Chris for the sports highlight. Thank you, Aiden. Today's sports highlights are presented to you by the Patriots. Roger Hickey sets a new Street Luge record in Quebec. Street Luge is like its winter counterpart except for one thing. Competitors do not have the safety of a shoe. Instead, they lay on their sleds and zip down paved streets to what seemed like certain death. But don't tell that to Roger Hickey, the extreme athlete who has 20 street loons and 18 skateboarding world titles under his belt, loves the sport so much that he recently emerged from retirement to participate in the top speed world championship held in Quebec, Canada on September 10th, 2016. The 58-year-old said that he had many doubts during his first three runs where he barely surpassed 80 miles per hour. However, Hickey pushed through and zipped down the Quebec Highway at a speed of 100.27 miles per hour. Now let's go to Ana Alicia to see what's for lunch. Thank you, Chris. Today's lunch is taco tater tachos, tortilla chips, diced peaches, and milk. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to Vani. Thank you, Ana Alicia. Scholars, once again, congrats to our March Madness winner. Check out Miss Cavalita's awesome reaction to hearing that their hard work has paid off. The winner of the iReady March Madness Challenge is... Patriots, join us this Wednesday, March 17th from 4 p.m. through 9 p.m. at Mod Pizza. It's our next Family Night fundraiser. Scan the QR code to RSVP. Be sure to show your RSVP page to re at the register or mention the fundraiser so they will donate a portion of your purchase to support our school. Let's go together and have some good pizza for a great cause. And Patriots, today is your last day to get your St. Patrick's Day grams. Get yours today before they sell out. You can show someone you care by sending them a St. Patrick's Day gram. Get one of these awesome gift packages for only $3 and $5. Put a smile on somebody's face today. Graham will be delivered to your friends tomorrow, Wednesday, March 17th. Help make your friend pinch proof by getting a St. Patrick's Day gram today. Also, Patriots, tomorrow, Wednesday, is our next virtual read-aloud with Pat the Patriot, How to Catch a Leprechaun. We'll air this Wednesday, March 17th at 8 a.m. You can view it on our RPTV YouTube channel. Now let's see what the weather's going to be like today with David. Thank you, Vani. Today's weather in Pembroke Pines, Florida is forecast to be 83 degrees Fahrenheit and probably cloudy. Clouds are here, so let's hope for the rain to stay away. Now let's go to Samuel for the joke of the day. Thank you, David. And here's today's joke of the day. Why do bicycles fall over? Because they're too tired. Now let's go to Sonia for today's birthdays. Thanks, Samuel. That was awesome. Today's birthday boys are Giovanni Gonzalez and Anton Benson. Happy birthday. Thank you, guys. Yo's Donnie. Thank you, Sonia. Patriots, don't forget your past expectations it represents. Present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, 
treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Miss E.M. Denqua, Miss Yearwood, Miss Newton, Miss Julian, Miss Dry, Miss Stone, Miss Maynard, Miss Hendrickson, and Miss Santori. You all had the correct answer to yesterday's riddle, which was, I can be long or I can be short. I can be grown and I can be bought. I can be painted or left bare. I can be round or I can be square. What am I? The correct answer to the riddle was fingernails. Now for today's riddle. Three lives have I. Gentle enough to soothe the skin, light enough to caress the sky, hard enough to crack the rocks. What am I? Again, three lives have I. Gentle enough to soothe the skin, light enough to caress the sky, hard enough to crack rocks. What am I? Teachers, please send your answers to pinesatrenaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced the following day. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a terrific Tuesday, and don't forget, remember, reunite, rise. Have a great day!